Hello and welcome back to Bunny Ballistics. Tommy here again. Um, today we are going to be testing some more critical duty. This is going to be in 40 Smith and Wesson, um, 175 grain. And uh, we'll move on and I'll show you the bullets and uh, the tool we're going to be using to shoot it. Um, also, um, I usually save this for the end, but uh, if you like my channel or like my content, um, please make sure to hit the like button. Um, and the bell would be awesome too, so you get notifications. And uh, please, please subscribe if you like my content and keep coming back. There's lots of return viewers and not everyone subscribed. Please, it doesn't take a lot. You don't have to hit the bell, but please subscribe. Anyways, um, it's enough of me begging. Um, let's move on to the um, bullets now. All right. Okay, so here we have our uh, Critical Duty 40 Smith & Wesson. They are 175 grain, and they have a box velocity of um, 1,010 FPS from the muzzle. And then we'll kind of get a close up here if we can. You can kind of see, you know, 40 is kind of a fatter round. There you go, the primer. Very nice looking bullet. And uh, of course, you see they have their flex lock in the middle. It has a little H. It's supposed to help them expand. So uh, we'll see. The past tests, it seems like they've done really well at helping. So we'll see how they do with the 40. All right, on to the chronograph. Oh, I guess I should say too. Um, this isn't actually the gun I used. I grabbed the wrong one yet again somehow. Um, it's going to be out of a P226. Um, and the barrel length is going to be very similar to this. It is going to be about a four and a half inch barrel. So this is very similar. Um, but this is not actually the um, gun we used for this. Uh, sorry. <laughs> Alright, on to the chrono for real now. Alright, today we have... 175 grain, uh, 40 Smith & Wesson, critical duties. This is just what they look like. We're going to do our uh, three round average through the chrono. So let's see what we get today. We got 1026. 1008. And then a thousand and four. All right, everybody, there is our uh, Bear 40, and uh, it was a terrible shot because I really fucked up and used a lot of my gel that I had left. So uh, our denim shot should be interesting. Look how pretty that is. Came into our second little catch block there, and can't get under my camera tripod, but it is there. Um, let's see if I can catch this here. But we're actually focused on it. But yeah, there it is. Um, get it with that. For a little bit over 19 inches. But overall, it was. Pretty freaking crazy. It did a little deeper than I thought, but you know that's kind of what these are meant for. So let's try and place. Oh, the denim's gonna have to try and go through here. So we'll see what happens.
Okay, there's the 40 denim. Kind of put it where we wanted it. It's still kind of a mess looking from the top. But if we look from the side, we can see it right here. Let's see it go, go. And it stops right there. And I forgot to take measure. I'll be right back. Okay. So we got this one. Our uh, 40 through um, our denim. If we go up a little bit, let's zoom out a little bit. We're a little bit in front of the 21, so. Not bad. It looks like it got expanded. Uh, but we'll pull them out and uh, see for sure. So let's do that. Alright, y'all. So we're going to have our weights now. This is through our uh, bear gel. You can see it expanded fairly well. And then we also have the insert right here. Let's see. And you can see it kind of it kind of exploded a little bit, but it worked enough to where uh, it did that. So let's see. We're supposed to be 175. So this is 174. And then if we put the little little guy in it, 176.2. Interesting. Okay. I thought this was only like a gram, or a grain, excuse me. So let's see, that's more than a grain, two grains, well, I guess this is a bigger bullet. Um, anyways, okay, so that's our bear gel, and then let's do our denim. So this was interesting in the fact that, I don't know how, so the plug came out of these, but there was a piece of denim lodged inside of this one, if you can see. Don't know how it actually got in there past the um, the flex lock, but you can see it's like pretty much perfectly cut out to it. So I guess we'll measure it with the denim. 174, and then this is about two grains we know, so 176. So let's take this off and see if it if I can get it out even. You can see it's like almost a perfect little circle. So yeah. Really interesting stuff, isn't it? Like it's just weird how that how that was. Like it's perfect. Crazy. Really crazy. Anyways, I'm gonna I wanna keep this safe because I wanna keep that with it because I thought that was really freaking cool. Um I guess we should compare them. So the fre the flex locks looked pretty similar. So let's see. So this is our bear gel and this is the denim. And as you can see, I mean, there is not much of a difference from these guys, are there? It looks like the bear gel did open a little bit more maybe, but uh, otherwise they are very similar. Um, I guess we'll find out. We'll measure it. So let's get the diameters and we'll be right back. All right. And for the measurements, we are going to um, be doing three different measurements for the diameter to try and get an average. So the first one we have for the bear is 529. We have 517. And then we have a 524. Four. And the average will be on the Google Docs. And that's what, where that's going to go. So, all right, now we'll do our um, our denim. Okay, we have a five four zero. There is a five five two. And then we have a five two four. And again, the average will be on. The Google Doc sheet for these. Based on uh, what I could see, these bullets did um, very well, I think. Um, I can't remember exactly where I got them. I found it for a decent price. Um, it was a pack of 50, which usually is a much better price than buying them in 20s, 25s. Um, 
Hornady does usually 25s, depends what it is. But uh, anyways, I thought they uh, they performed really well, I think. Um, all these critical defense, I kind of did all of them this week. Well, they're supposed to be in a week, but me getting sick and Thanksgiving and um, most of y'all know. Um, it was supposed to be kind of like a little uh, critical series. Um, but um, I didn't find one that did uh, a bad job. Um, maybe in the future we will do some through barriers and see exactly how barrier blind they are because I know that's um, the big selling point um, for those uh, is going through barriers and still performing well. Um, anyways, that's about it. We'll wrap it up. Um, if you guys liked it, please hit the like button. Um, if you didn't like it, you can hit the dislike button. Let, just let me know what you didn't dislike, what you, what you didn't like, um, so I can fix it. Um, I've been trying my best to, um, uh, put everyone's feedback into videos as far as, um, sound levels and, um, how I'm doing variables and such. So, yeah, please subscribe, like I said earlier. Um, there was a lot of people that watch this channel that aren't subscribed. Um, but anyways, coming up in the next uh, week or so, we are going to have um, another trial of ammo, obviously. And then I'm going to do my best to squeeze in um, some casting, since I actually haven't done a casting video yet. And I know some of y'all are waiting for that. And then I will also... Um, want to do some more reloading videos on my um, Pro 6K. Um, I only got the one setup video and uh, I was hoping maybe I can answer more questions doing another video and whatnot. And uh, I'm sorry I'm rambling again. So all I'll say is please hit the sub button. I love you guys so much and thank you for watching and uh, have a great night. Bye.